Okay. All right. Hi, you guys. New Year's Eve 2018, right? I don't really drink very much, so we're not going to go out tonight. Plus, it's here in Colorado. It's like 20 degrees out right now. So I just thought Hannah's here, though. Some family time. Um, Steve's watching a movie. Dad's doing something. Hannah's here. She's over there at Side Chat. She's using my account, okay? But she'll talk to you or she'll tell me if there's something you want me to and to answer or something you want to talk about. Um, again, she's under my account. So I just thought before we settle in for a game night or a movie that maybe I would just go over a few cute things that I found um, thrifting for eBay. So let's see. There's some interesting things in here that I wanted to talk about. Well, Hannah found her first Lululemon. She was thrifting with me. And she found her first Lululemon piece. So I'm really proud of her for that. So just some leggings. I found a pair too, and we found a top. So, um, you know, Lululemon pricing has been coming down a little bit. But, oh my gosh, I know everybody knows by now. But just in case there's somebody that doesn't, because I'm going to upload this later. Is that showing the Omega symbol, the silver yeah. Omega symbol? Okay. So um, unless it's something really epic, we're not getting the high dollar that we used to. But it's still a good flip. Now, this is more interesting. And looking through the pants, I said, this looks like Lululemon stitching. But, and it is, but here, look at this logo, the difference, okay? This is the men's. See, it's a little bit different, right? The, the, they were in the women's. But these are actually men's kung fu pants so these will probably bring a little bit more money than just your average lululemon leggings are doing now again unless it's one of the new epic prints or something special just your average run-of-the-mill lululemon legging you know we're probably doing i don't know around 28 or so on those right now the markets just come down as they've been in business longer and you know the turnover is starting to get into the thrift stores and into the secondary marketplace which is us right on ebay and poshmark so i went ahead and paid 6.99 for these but that's fine these kung fu will be they're not as good as city truck but these men's kung fu lululemons will probably do about 40 ish because they're really good no pilling no problems at all so excited about that again so they were in the women's but i always look at the men's too because men, lululemon does a lot of men's stuff oh my gosh the kung fu pants again 30 40 easy if you can find some, some of the more um studio pants the trek pants those are you know 80 bucks pretty easy if they're still in good condition some of their coats so remember Let's see. This is one of the men's again. For those of you just came came in, this is one of the men's Lululemon. It's a little bit bigger than the women's. About the size of a nickel. Not always. You know how that goes. So I talked about this on the last video. There's another brand that's similar to Lululemon and will bring about the same price range. It's Lorna Jane. It's an Australian designer. I think most of it's made in China now, but it's Australian. Um, design house and so this is what they're let me see if I, hang on while we get this these three little silver like square zero and Lorna Jane so it's made really nice just like Lululemon um, and unique and her pieces will go for good money too like even this little top it's in great condition no pilling pilling is important you don't want a lot of pilling if you have pilling you need to price accordingly and divulge it, please. Nothing makes someone madder than when they get something that's all pilled. So, you know what I mean by pilling, right? Get your clothes shaver out. Hang on. You got pilling. <laughs> Try to save it with your clothes shaver, okay? I think these are like seven or eight dollars. Try to save it. <laughs> Worth it. Okay. So, this little top will probably do just under 30. Lorna Jane. So, look for that too. Um, and I want to talk about this in the athleisure athletic department which you guys know is one of my favorite niches right we doing okay hannah yeah. oh hi you guys we got a few people hi a few other people stay at home huh <laughs> we're in safe right okay so these were in there too this is called iridian hang with me for a minute 
while I try, this is a funny label. Let me try to get it right, okay? So we got this yep. Iridian. These are equestrian leggings, okay? See how they have the leather patches here at the inner lower leg thigh knee area? So these are really high quality too, Iridian. These are equestrian, horse riding when they're training. Um, new, these were probably just a little over $100. I think resale value on these, again, good condition, not overly washed, no pilling. There's no pilling. I checked the thigh area and everything, no pilling. So I might be able to get about 40 bucks for these. Really good shape because they cost a lot brand new. I love equestrian stuff. Always um, when you're doing research or trying to learn new things like me, always um, look at equestrian brands. That's some high dollar stuff. Okay. so. Got a Ralph Lauren jacket. Um, I took out the lining because I wanted to um, clean it up a little bit. It's just a blue label. I wish it was, you know, purple, but it's not. Blue label, but still it's in great condition. Something like this, probably only about 80. If it was the purple label or more, you know, it would do better. But still, it was definitely worth buying. Oh my gosh, definitely, okay? So, you know, there's quite the hierarchy to, um, our Ralph Lauren that we have to learn and keep on top of. Some of it's not so great. What else? Uh, vintage St. John. This is a more vintage label. St. John. But we're still going to buy it, right? We're still going to buy our St. John. It is the Santana mint. It's really cute. Let me show you the buttons, too. Sorry, I'm looking at myself over here to see if I'm focusing. Did that focus, Hannah? Sort of as good as it's going to get. Probably as good as it's going to get. It's a really, really cute. But it is a Santana knit. It's a two piece set. They always put this in with like, I don't know, like, well, okay, the Goodwill, anyways. My Goodwill's around here in Colorado. They always put this in this section that has like vintage, weird suits and things. And, uh, you know, they think it's kind of like, you know, older lady clothing. And perhaps it is. It has a huge following, though. Um, in a wealthier, let's say, demographic, even some of the young girls will wear, you know, some St. John. Um, and then this is vintage, so, you know, it's going to appeal to a vintage crowd as well. But um, it's in such good shape. The Santana knit by St. John usually does keep its shape if someone hasn't abused the way they wash it. So let's see. Um, unfortunately, it is a smaller size. It's a beautiful color, though, kind of a slate blue. Um, unusual buttons, that's good. So even though it is a vintage label and smaller size, it's in great shape. I think I can still probably pull 60 to 80 because it's two piece. Okay, so we'll just, it'll be up here in a few days. We'll just see what happens. I'm gonna start there, right? You guys know how I am. But if you hang out with me, you know how I am. I follow Tanya's motto. You can't pick a lot of money if you don't ask for a lot of money. So I've started a little bit above average. And then, because, you know, you can take best offer, right? And you can always put things on sale. So why not give things a chance? Um, you know, I'm kind of a part-time seller. And um, I just enjoy clothing and fashion and artistic things. So I have other streams of income. So let's see. This this riding coat. It doesn't have, it's soft shell. It doesn't have all the hard um, armor inside the removable plastic armor. It is just a soft shell, but it's cute. Um, it's in Harley Davidson colors. It's not Harley Davidson, but it is in those colors. Um, can't really talk about that, you know, in the title. It has a zip out lining. Really cute cut. I actually have two of these. I will probably put this isn't like a real big name. I'll probably put this only like around 40, okay? But it's in great shape. I actually have two of them. Hang on. I've got a I got a purple one too. This one's missing the lighting, so I'll probably do like start at about 28 on this one. It's in really good shape. You know, that classic ride, you know, rider biker style. Cute, right? So we also found Peruvian Connection. We all know that by now, but just in case there's someone watching, let me get this up there. There we go. This is one of their labels. Peruvian Connection. This one is 100% alpaca, so yay for that, right? Purple, yay again, <laughs> super soft. I noticed a little bit of pilling right here, more fuzzy than pilling, so I'm gonna close shave it very carefully. 
Peruvian Connection All Alpaca Sweater Made in Peru. This should be, I'm going to start this at 56. That should be, and I won't take less than 40. No way. I think 56 will be about right, to be fair. Not overpriced, not underpriced. I, I'm, I'm not trying to ruin the markets. So I'm not doing the race to the bottom or anything like that. So another thing that we all usually look for, right, are the um, Fair Isle sweaters or the things made in Scotland or scan anywhere Scandinavian, Ireland. I don't really know this label very much. I found a few more of them, and I'll show it to you anyways. The label wasn't really the main point. This one is made in Ireland, and it has a, hang on just one minute, you guys. Why did I get this? Oh, wool and silk blend. That's a good um, textile content, don't you think? A good fabric content. And it's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? And I can't remember what these buttons are called. If anybody remembers, say it or come back and put it in the comments for all of us. What is that called? Like shag? No, 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 no. I can't remember. Here, look at it like this. See, it's got the little knot and then a loop. Anyways, that's kind of a cool pattern too. So I will probably start this one because it's wool and silk made in Ireland. Um, probably, what do you guys think? 48, about 48, I think, is where this probably will go. Okay, it's cute too. I like the tunic length. Like I think someone's really gonna like the more cardigan length on that, right? Okay, this is the vintage sweater. But I don't know how to say it, Mon Montana. I don't know here. There's a couple other. There's a couple solds actually. This one's vintage, made in France. There's something about this label and about that this logo here on this that apparently is good. <laughs> this little rooster. So I need to get all the pet hair off of it. Um. I might, let's see, check the underarms, no deodorant and all that. Get all that pet hair off of it. I might actually, you have to be careful with wool, right? I might actually hand wash this carefully and see if I can tidy it up just a little bit. I want to get as much value as I can. But if I remember correctly, when I was looking up comps and things, um, are we okay over there, Hannah? Yes. Um, yes. I, think, I think I saw some solds and some advertised like around 40-ish mark. I think so. Let me see what's going on in the chat. I'm just right here. Be right here. Possibly toggle for that closure. Okay. What do we got? I can't see very well. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Stephen or Steph, whichever one it is. Cindy Rosen says toggle. I'm not sure. I'll look it up before I list it. So those of you that kind of watch my store too to see how things sell. Um, when I list it, if I find out the good name, it'll be in the description for that too. Wow, a lot of you guys are staying home tonight too. You're gonna party at home like us. <laughs> we're either gonna watch a good movie or we're gonna play um, Cards Against Humanity. I've got a good set. It's been a while since we played it. Let me look at the chat again. Hannah's over here. It's like a sick mist. <laughs> what, what is Green Thrifty Life saying, Hannah? What's she say? Um, I never used to do clothing until I watched YouTube. Now I can't help it. It's like a sickness. And <laughs> I enjoy the weird vintage stuff. I just, you know, I just love clothing. I've been a clothes horse for a long time. I just love clothing. I've been, I've had full retail, so you know. Um, I what I did hard goods and then I stopped and I was getting ready like to get. I I actually gave away a big pile last summer. And I was getting ready to give away all my plush. I, you guys on IG have talked about this, right? And then Hannah kind of took over my little second store. We set her up something downstairs, and I just let her have at it, let her do her own thing and teach herself, and she's been doing really great. But we're what's that store up to? $731 worth of plush and some hard goods that I almost let go of. You guys saw the Balto, the Balto plush um, from the movie? $128. I know I was freaking out. So apparently I'm gonna stay in the hard good the hard goods niche and the, definitely the plush game. No doubt about the plush game. That's been phenomenal. 
So there's a couple plush Facebook groups I joined, including Julie Casa Sheik's, um, if you know her on Instagram. So that other store is called hashtag deal, hashtag underscore deal. Um, you can find it through my Facebook or I follow myself. My mile high store, my mile high scene store, I follow myself, hashtag deal. You can find it through looking through that list. But again, if you want to see it, you'll recognize the MO because although Hannah has her own groove, her own jam, right? And I'm not micromanaging her too much. Um, she does, you know, kind of copy a little bit, you know, the basics of what I kind of do. And we set her up with, um, you know, the cloud background for that too. So you'll recognize it. Or you can just do a search for Balto, Balto plush. And I should be one of the recent souls that pulled up. His name was Balto. That's what he told me in a message. And when my PayPal came through, sure enough, it was Balto something. So he collects all kinds of Balto stuff. That's the one where I bought a, um, a video also for like a dollar and we made a bundle. We repackaged that as a bundle. So that was really good. I did that with a Katy Perry jacket that I had and that sold for about $86 about a month and a half ago. I bought a, a hippie picker. Chris Hippie Picker on IG had a um, brand new Katy Perry um, DVD that matched the concert jacket that I had. And so we bundled that together and I got $86 for that of what cost me probably a total with Chris's movie and my jacket, maybe about five or six dollars. So that was fun. Okay, anyways. Um, Johnny was. This is actually um, Johnny was LA. But you guys, really, you would pick this out in a heartbeat, right? It's broidered in velvet. Like anybody would pick this out in a heartbeat. It's quality. So here's one of many, many, let's get this up here. Many, many Johnny Was labels. Um, okay, Johnny Was. Hang on a minute. Different lines within Johnny Was, okay? I put it here so I could remember to tell you guys. Johnny was John uh, J W L A. Johnny was L A. Three J Workshop, which is like a little bit um, more affordable price and more youthful. And then, if I'm saying this right, Baya, B I Y A. And then Pete and Greta is another line of Johnny was. We all know Johnny was sells great. This will be fifty sixty dollars easy. This is something actually I would probably put on auction, my rare auction item, and started out like at 50. And because um, there was a good chance something like this could get bid up. But, anyways, and the other one is For Love and Liberty. It's kind of like um, For Love and Liberty is kind of like Johnny Was's answers to Love and Lemons, which is like, you know, really um, a hip, high dollar line right now for, you know, younger people like the anthro crowd, so to speak. So let me see if I can, here, see if I can do this. Is that showing up? Um, pretty well. If that shows up, you guys, there are the different labels for Johnny Was. It's just on the website. I'll make a file and put it over at Reseller Revival, okay? I'll make a file on Johnny Was because it's a moneymaker. There's also some vintage stuff, Johnny Was t-shirts way back, if you find that kind of stuff. It'll be these crazy t-shirts with embroidery and patches on it, and some of them will have that skirt. Remember that skirt? What was that, the 80s? Like sewn onto the bottom, and it'll just be like a long, you know, cute house dress or something, or a beach dress. Those vintage Johnny Was things, um, those will still sell. Okay, so gorgeous. You okay? Yep, everybody doing okay? Oh, yeah. How do you say that? How do you say that, Amy? Joy, J the J-O-I-E that you're talking about in the chat? Yeah, that's a good label, too. Love that. Amy, I have never once found Johnny Was. Oh, my gosh, keep looking. It's something that I actually do find in the Goodwills and, and the thrift stores. Actually do. So, okay. Another Tasha. Um. Polazzi. Oh my gosh, ever since I found my first one, it's like, I don't know. I guess once we put something on our radar, it's, I don't know, does the law of attraction kick in or something? I don't know, but I found another one. Of course, the her label is a lot of these are really small, but wait a minute, let me get it. Tasha Polazzi. She does like 
higher end ranch lodge um, western wear. You wouldn't have needed to see the label, and neither did I, to pick this out, right? Again, embroidered velvet. I mean, seriously, of course you're going to get this. Ranch, prairie, boho chic, um, old style rocker girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, if this wasn't green, it would probably go in my closet. Green is not a good color for me, but I love this. This is epic. So, brand new, this was probably about. 250 maybe three i would say depending on where you got it like if you got it at neiman's or something neiman marcus so i think resale value on this i should be able to get no less than 80 dollars for this particular tasha palazzi piece you have a size the size of this somebody wants to know the size this is it great it's an extra large oh my gosh let me see it's an extra large I would say the sleeve length is about 23. It's a good extra large. I'm gonna, I like large and extra large. Um, I'm a tall girl. So although I'm somewhat thin, I'm tall. So I wear a size bigger than what you would think. And I like my clothes comfortable. So I tend to wear large and extra large. And I think I know this would fit me. So if you want, whoever was asking, if you want, just hit me up, DM, Facebook, IM, Messenger. If you're wanting this for yourself, and I'll give you full measurements on it, okay? Wait a minute, you want to see it again? It's got metal buttons. Cute, huh? Can you back it up, too? Super cute. Okay, so look up, look up solds and educate yourself on that label. And so speaking of, in that same genre, Double D Ranch. I've got a couple of pieces here. I always, those always sell through good. The, well, those always sell through well. <laughs> so um, I think the last piece I had, Hannah and I bought on one of the mother-daughter road trips. I think I, it was in like, a, that. remember that big, I said they gave me a big stuffed bag, $10. Oh my gosh. She, they stuffed it so full. It was in that bag. I think it sold very quickly for like, 50 to 60 it was a velvet piece but double d ranch hang on before i talk about this one this is a double d ranch too but let me start here because that has it i want to talk about that has a different label so i also found this jacket here is one of their labels double d ranch this is one of them but if you're into doing clothing research like i do every night on ebay maybe write this down too along with the tasha palazzi and the different Johnny Was labels. So that, you know, I do that so that I can get familiar with all the styles so that I can spot it. Although quite frankly, when it comes to clothing, just pull out the quality fabrics, just pull that out. Because even if something isn't a brand name, if it's cool and hip or vintage or the quality fabric, you can still sell it on style. Anyways, look at this bad boy. Oh my gosh. Print, wool, metal button. I can't remember what it's called when they do the bone. This isn't real bone, of course. This isn't, but when they do that down, I can't remember what that's called. But this could go for a lot of different people, a lot of different um, demographics or niches. Like this can be boho, this can be rocker, this can be for the uh, reenactment crowd that I sell a lot of things to, the reenactment, you know, the historical. Um, if this fit me, this would be mine for sure. I paid $6.99. Isn't that cute? This is about a size, it says large, but I would call this more a medium. So, okay, so back to double D. So a lot of the ranch, the cool ranch stuff, okay, and a high dollar. This is, they're a little bit lower and youthful line of double D ranch, but you can see how cool this little, this actually makes me think more of, um, Colorado ski bunny type clothes very popular um this is a very popular look in Colorado area with like the crunchy crowd and um or the young hipsters or the um ones that love winter sports and live up in some of the um smaller mountain towns like that go skiing and do all the winter sports all the time but it's a double d ranch too so double d ranch um, super cute, isn't it? If, again, if it wasn't green, I'd be tempted to keep this cute little dress with all the patches, all the patchwork on it. 
So I'd say new, this is from the, a diffu little bit diffusion for more youthful. New, I'd say it was probably around 100, I'm guessing, depending on what store. Um, probably, this will probably be around 38 to 40, okay, because it's their more youthful, um, more affordable line. So staying in that same niche, Scully. Oh, my gosh, Scully, it, their leather stuff is so expensive. I mean, like, you know, that would be... Like, I remember when I lived in Dallas, that would be the top Dallas elite would wear the high-end Scully stuff and, you know, movie stars and celebrities. Um, so this is a cheaper version. There's Scully. That's how you spell it. So this is just canvas. But the reason I went ahead and got this, I'm used, like, I like my Scully to be leather for sure, right? Um, you can find this in on any better Western store, too. And it's pretty high price. When you go to the Western stores, they're Scully and they're Double D Ranch will be on special racks up front, you know, because it's the higher end stuff. And there only be a few pieces each unless you're at a really epic Western store. Anyways, um, this will be good for reenactment too, for historical reenactment as well. I already saw a couple of them sold. I'm going to guess I paid $450. This will probably bring about around the $40 range pretty easy. Okay, Scully. How are we doing okay? Uh, you have a kind of about the dress. Which one? This? Anything yeah. I need to answer? The no. shows. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? It's, look at the look at all this fun. Wait a minute. I, oh yeah, like see this one says ski area. See what I'm saying? Like and I know like Montana, there's another good um state where they mix like um ranch wear with more hip clothes for the like winter sports crowd so i could see someone in like montana colorado really wanting this i'm colorado i really want this but i can't do that color all right a couple more things because this was fun stuff i did not know so of course i see this out of the corner of my eye right you see it and you're going to be like oh look it's one of those vintage silk shirts from the 70s or whatever 60s or 70s and you're going to pick it up so i pick it up i'm like oh kennington I'm like oh it's cute i wish it was a little bigger how much is it a little bit more than i want to spend and just as i'm getting ready to put it back i notice something out of the corner of my eye i'm going to hold it up okay for those of you that know this give other people a chance before you put it out okay i'm gonna hold it up and see if anybody sees why the last minute i went hey wait a minute what is that <laughs> anybody get it yet <laughs> so Oops. <laughs> Pilgrim. Well, there's some Indians and cowboys and cavalry on here. Mickey. I know. I Mickey is in that stagecoach. Only a couple places. So I almost missed it. Here's the label, you guys. Kennington. So, so I looked it up, and this is a real thing. Um, prices were everywhere, depending on condition, color, size. Um, anywhere from, I saw people selling them from $20 to, these were sold, $20 to $80 for some ones that really, really looked cool. This is probably about average, but I'm not going to sell it too cheap. Um, I'm probably going to put this up for around 40 and just wait. I'm not going to take less than 36 for it. I wish it was one of the more epic ones, but it's still pretty cool to me. Um, Anyways, let me show you the label one more time. So if you're like me, write that down and look at that on eBay, you know, when you have time on eBay sold and see what's going on there. I didn't have a clue. I'm like, what is Mickey doing there? So that was super fun and I learned something new. So I'm excited. Um, okay, this is just a fender. We Hannah, the rest of them we already have. Hannah found a bunch of cool men's shirts. Fender, guitar shirts, dragonfly, you know, dragonfly shirts as camp. Hawaiian, Hawaiian bowling type shirts, you know, that will have like dragons or flames or, you know, something cool on it, real themed. Um, 
Thelma asked if that was vintage. So Which one? She's probably talking about that. Because this one, one Thelma? Who is that, Thelma Thrift? Yeah. Hi, Thelma. Girl, you probably know this more than I do. I just learned this. I was so excited. I, it, yeah, it's vintage. Definitely. Do you want me to show it again? Maybe she wasn't asking. Maybe she was just or maybe she's just saying yeah oh hannah said maybe you were just saying yeah thelma like i learned a lot about film um, vintage stuff from thelma handbags jewelry trying to learn the jewelry game from you and tanya oh <laughs> anyways i went ahead and got this i wish it was a little bit bigger size but it's got a lot of embroidery on it it's got leather trim it's got good snaps on it right and it's associated with guitars so Got to do that. Rock and roll religion. Wish it was a little bigger. Um, the other ones Hannah already has listed. I let her have them because she found them. We're splitting profits. And they're already down in hashtags. You already listed all those camp shirts, right? Yes. Yeah, the Fender has two embroidered flying V guitars on it. Oh, and a um, Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville. Epically embroidered all in the back. Hannah's already got it listed. It was cool. And none of them were too expensive, right? That's all good. Yeah, that's all good. Um, this is Air Force Nike collab. So, I mean, if it's new with tags, you got to buy it. How much was it? $3.99. New with tags, Nike, Air Force. I don't know how much this is worth. I haven't even bothered looking it up. I just put it in the cart, right? So, oh, I always do well with these. Any kind of velvet burnout, you guys, I say this all the time, right? I always have a velvet. I always have velvet pieces, don't I? Velvet burnout, especially. Almost a kimono, not quite. But I think the last haul that I showed you guys, I already sold that one pretty quick. So that's why I went ahead and paid $5.99. My goodwill prices are going up. I don't know about you guys. Mine are going up. So really happened to be picky lately. You know, really happened to cherry pick because I want to keep my average sale price up. And well, we won't get into all that. Anyways, velvet burnout. You guys get it, right? Always good. This doesn't even have the labels been cut out. I don't care. I always just sell these on style. Um, of course, some labels will bring more money, of course. Uh, like, what was the one I learned the other day? Natalia? Natalia? I think I got like 60 or $80 for that. Um, of course, the Johnny Was is going to bring more. There are some labels that are going to bring more. But even if it's a no label, or missing the label, just you just sell it on style. There are some people that just love this look. And then Eileen Fisher, older label. Of course, we're gonna buy the Eileen Fisher. This is a little velvet shirt jacket. So it's not a full-fledged jacket. So probably on this, and it's only a medium, but it is a beautiful color. Great shape, right? A little stretchy. I always like my stuff to stretch. Reduces fit problems and returns. So, so probably this will be. I'll probably list this for just about forty on this particular Eileen Fisher. I did sell that from the last haul. I did sell that crinkle silk Eileen Fisher jacket for just under sixty. That went out last week. Okay, another vintage piece. Tap New York. There's a few other. Um, am I getting that? Yes. There's a few other. Paid half price, $2. Um, I just thought this was cute. This is whimsical, right? Super whimsical, and it's silk. It's a little vintage piece. I don't know if this zipper pull is an add-on or what, but look at this. I can't show you. Three-piece <laughs> three piece zipper. Okay, it's got a heart, and then a piece side, and then three little pieces. <laughs> I need one more arm. And then a yin-yang symbol. So I don't know. It makes me think that maybe this was an aftermarket zipper pull that they put on it. I don't know, but I'll, it can stay on there. I'm just going to guess. I'm going to sell this on style and vintage and silk. You know, it's whimsical. So just wait for the right person to be like, I knew I needed that. I've been looking for that. <laughs> so I'll probably put it at around, I don't know. 36 to 38 and best offer take a little less of course and just wait for that person you know it's forever home okay another vintage piece i saw this once before and i put it back because they wanted too much money for it then on half price day i went back and got it it's an escada i sell quite a bit of escada because i find it um vintage escada will sell 
and um, this one, I put it back the first time because it has that uh, fading on the shoulders, you know, and so it's not really, it's a, it's really soft velour. So I just didn't think it was going to be sellable, but the most epic buttons. So I'm selling the buttons is what I'm doing. Let me show you. You see them? Gold etched logo buttons that say Escada. And there are a grip of them. Look. So I don't know if you, some of you probably know, you can sell these designer buttons, St. John buttons, you know, whatever, Tory Burch replacement buttons. There's a grip of them on here. I'm not going to cut them off yet, but I'm, my ad is going to be replacement buttons for Escada. But I'm going to leave it on the jacket. If they want the jacket, they can have the jacket for no extra charge beyond the extra shipping charge. You get my drift? Um, because maybe somebody will. It's so soft and pretty, right? This mint baby blue kind of tone. And um, perfect shape, except for that fading on the shoulders that can happen with vintage items. So that's how I'm going to handle it. Um, I cannot. I don't want to just dispose of it if somebody, if there's a chance that I find someone or someone finds it that wants to salvage it somehow. I don't know, put epaulets on it or I don't know, try to have it dyed. I'm not sure. Again, so epic buttons. I think on the buttons I'm going to put about, I'm going to start at about 3840 for all the buttons. And if they want to pay for extra shipping, they can have them on the jacket. Otherwise, I will cut them off and they can just have the buttons. You guys want to see them again? There's a bunch of them. They're metal. There's a Scotta. So if you're not familiar with that and you're curious, you can look and see that um, selling replacement buttons is definitely also a thing. What else? I got a bunch of shoes over here, but I haven't washed them, so they're still in the bag. Found some Allen Edmonds men's shoes. Those are good. Thank you, Ronnie Hart, for teaching me that. And some other Spain, Spain names. If they're Spain or Italian, then I give them give it a shot. A couple more things. Um, a Doc Martin kit, shoe care kit for $1.99. But I'm not gonna sell this because someone told me that they're someone told me that in here their balm or their butter thing was the best ever for fixing up shoes to, to resell. I don't know if it was Karen from Prof Sales or I guess Tina, the Soul Advisor. I don't know. But so for $1.99, I think I'll just keep that to use it, right? And then the other thing I got was um, this cupcake bag. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted it. Look how cute it is. I think what I'm going to do is try my hand at, I don't think we can do mystery boxes anymore, can we? I'm not sure. I followed the whole Graveyard Girl Bunny saga. Did you guys follow that? I put it in reseller revival and on my IG. That was fascinating. If you don't watch Graveyard Girl, which she's hilarious. And um, you know, that whole saga was fascinating. eBay, I'll just tell you the end of it, okay? It was her 90s mystery box. If you want to Google it for YouTube, it's fascinating. Um, again, there's a thread on reseller revival, my Facebook group that I host for us all. Um, well, I'll just give you the synopsis, okay? And it ended up eBay sent her, so they refunded her $900. Yes, I said $900 for a bunch of crap. And um, sent her a customized, custom curated by the eBay social media team um, mystery box, which was awesome. So yeah, all of us don't get the same, you know, five-star treatment from eBay when things go wrong with a seller or a buyer, but you know, her graveyard girl social media is huge so instead of being jealous just look for the good that hey they were on top of it because so many followers you know that could give ebay a bad name it was a mixed boat so they took care of it for us cool all right you guys there was like there was one other thing i wanted to talk about oh here it is wait a minute you know i have this over here because i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it i might send this to karen just ask karen prof sales better half she thinks she's a pirate right those of you who watch this <laughs> she thinks she's a pirate so look at this cute belt buckle let me get in get on get in on this it's all pink rhinestone and a little pink ribbon patch i think it's on a real leather belt i don't know what size she is but i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna send this to karen 
So nobody tell her, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. I don't know. Well, that's all. I think I'm going to take the rest of the evening off with the fam and um, probably take tomorrow off, get back to work. Oh my gosh, get back to work. I've been seriously slacking and sales are starting to show it, right? Merch um, opened up the gates on us again. For those of you that have merch and you haven't checked it, check it. If you put in your invite, check it. They opened it, they took off the holiday freeze. I got teared up and everything. So. It's going to be back to work here for 2018. Got a lot of exciting things to do. All right, you guys, go have some fun tonight. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.